The B-1B evolved from the B-1A, which itself rose from the ashes of the B-70 Valkyrie. The U.S. strategic bomber development stalled out in the 1960s as concerns about Soviet SAM defenses forced the USAF to reinvent its mission concept. Fast high-flying bombers fell out of favor, but the Air Force still wanted a supersonic bomber. The Nixon administration was more flexible on this question than the Johnson administration, and studies began in 1969. The first prototype flew in 1974. As designed, the B-1A could exceed Mach 2 at high altitude, Mach 1.2 at low altitude. Even then, the B-1 remained controversial. U.S. intel suggested that Soviet radars were improving, making the low-altitude penetration mission riskier. The Carter administration canceled the B-1A in an effort to cut costs and make the defense budget more efficient. President Ronald Reagan resurrected the bomber as the B-1B, and the B-1A was reworked into the B-1B which was slower, somewhat less expensive, and had a smaller RCS, and 100 B-1B bombers were built.